In this segment of It's Scary to Remarry, I want to discuss why men are hesitant to enter into a relationship. What's up, Bravehearts community? This is Sean Heineman here with another segment of It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. And we're going to discuss why men are hesitant about entering into relationships. I think this is going to be very interesting because people keep asking this question over and over again. So let's jump into this. The definition of hesitant is tentative, unsure, or slow in acting or speaking. I want to make sure that I give you a definition because what I'm starting to realize is uh, words are everything. And we always look at words in different ways. So when someone tell you something, the way you interpret it can be something totally different than what the person was telling you. So I'm starting to realize now I want to start giving you more definitions when I'm talking about a certain subject. I've done some research online on um, psychology today. I'm a big fan of psychology today and some other stuff I've checked out online about why men are hesitant about entering into relationships. And here's what I've compiled. I have five of them. So let's jump into this. Number one is vulnerability. If he gets into a relationship with you, he understands that he has to open up to you mentally and emotionally. Some guys are honest enough that they don't want to get into a relationship because they realize how much work it takes to maintain a relationship. And I always tell people that a healthy marriage or a healthy relationship simply takes work. Uh, you can't put your relationship on autopilot and expect to have a healthy relationship because uh, things happen. Life is real. People change feelings, emotions. So you have to put in necessary work in order to maintain a healthy marriage or relationship. Sometimes guys just don't like being vulnerable. They just want to do what they want to do. And you have to be okay with that, but you shouldn't allow that into your life. Number two, he thinks you will change. He puts off the relationship as long as possible to see if you will stay the same. Most guys think you will stop taking care of yourself once you have him. And all the things that she used to do, she'll stop because she has him now. And this is a big fear for a lot of guys because it's, and we can flip this too. We could talk about, cause I know that there's women that say, you used to buy me roses. You used to do certain things for me. And now you stop doing them that you have me, but we're addressing the women today. So uh, some guys, they're just, they just think that you will change once you have them, you get comfortable and then um, he's thinking, I used to like the woman that I had when we were just talking opposed to now that we're dating and uh, you're no longer um, putting in the necessary work to keep the relationship healthy. And that's something that we all have to make sure that we focus on, making sure that we are always our best self possible, especially when it comes to relationships, because when you're not in a relationship, you're doing everything you can. I mean, you taking, you know, you in the gym six days a week, you doing all these different things to try to get somebody. Then when you get them, you stop. And I think we have to start reversing uh, that situation once we get into relationships. We have to make sure that we do the necessary maintenance to keep our significant other happy or our spouse. Um, and, and even for yourself, you know, forget him or her, do this for yourself. Number three, being feared of being controlled and smothered. This is a big issue for men. Most men grow up with a view of women as weights that hold them down or controlling objects that won't let them go. Phrases like ball and chain, she has me by the balls, give negative views about women. And it's easy to see marriage as a, as a definitive marker of an imbalance of power where the woman takes over the man's life. So words like ball, ball and chain, and she has me by the balls, you know, <laughs> those are things we uh, always use once we get into marriage and relationships. And it just gives that negative connotation that why would I want to be with one person um, when you constantly hear words like that? And it's generational. You hear it generation after generation. So I think we have to change the verbiage in the way we deal with relationships and even the way that we see women. And um, I'm talking to men in this area that, you know, Again, if you put in the necessary work for a healthy relationship, then you won't look at women as a weight in your life. Number four, fear of being found out. This is a big one. Men have an inner sense of having some horrible and unfixable flaw. Sometimes men perceive physical defects like his height or penis size. This might be 
uh, this might be dealing with some kind of intellectual inferiority in his personal life. And if he shares those insecurities with you, ladies, don't downplay what he feels because sometimes you might be a little more educated than him. So sometimes there might be that intellectual inferiority on his behalf. And uh, don't downplay the way he feels when he opens up about certain issues in his life. Take it serious. Don't just downplay it and you know tell him to get over it or that's what you got male friends for and all this other stuff. If he opened up to you, make sure that you value uh, his feedback because there's a lot of men who might be insecure about their height or insecure about their penis size and you never know these things until they share them with you. And if a man opened up to you, don't downplay his feelings. I can't, I, I cannot continue to stress that enough. Do not downplay his feelings because that's the quickest way that you will lose a man if he opened up to you and you downplay his feelings. And last but not least, he has all the benefits of being with multiple women. Why settle down? Now, I know this sounds selfish, but at the same time, a lot of this stems from fear. So we talk about all these different uh, situations where we talked about he thinks you will change and vulnerability and fear of being found out and fear of being controlled and smothered. So when you think about these things, he's like, I don't even want to put in necessary work for a, a, a healthy relationship. I'd rather just play the field and try to find some women who like to, uh, you know, play the field just like me. And that's cool. If that's what you do, that's what you do. But also, make sure that you share this video with a friend, share this uh, with a brother or cousin, share this with everybody. I want to make sure that I get this video into as many hands as possible because this is great content worth sharing. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. I appreciate the Bravehearts community and all the love you've been showing with all the new subscribers. I can't help but to appreciate all you have helped done uh, with our channel. I am Sean Heineman and I am at It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. Take care, Bravehearts.